up this morning at 8 o'clock. It'll still be about 7 degrees for the afternoon. Increasing clouds after some nice morning sunshine. Your high temperature today 27 evening temperatures will hover in the mid 20s with some scattered snow showers certainly possible. So boy, it's going to be the last day for this very cold weather coming up in the seven day forecast. I'll let you know about a little thaw on the way back to you, Mike and Macy. All right, Christine, so you think it's bad just walking out to your car today. Imagine having to work outside in this bitter cold all night long. Yeah, a lot of people didn't just imagine they're actually doing it. And this morning they are still out there. Now, in just the past few hours, electrical lines have gone down, blocking train traffic on a main rail line. Also, there's been a water main break in Brunswick. News Channel 5's Josh Boos is out in the elements covering this breaking situation. You're joining us live from Brunswick, Josh. Just brutal conditions here this morning. I'm on Central Road uh, in Brunswick. Take a look behind me. You can see the crews in the distance making their way up there trying to fix this uh, water line that has busted. I want to show you because this water is coming all the way down here. This is uh, obviously all the way down the street here. Look at this running water causing treacherous situations because after sitting here for a while and this water main break was first reported last night around 7 o'clock, this has turned to complete ice. This is a sheet of ice. I mean, you can go ice skating on this. It's just so dangerous. You have to be careful. I want to show you some video of what it looked like earlier. Take a look right here and you can see that, uh, yeah, these conditions out here were pretty brutal indeed. People can get around uh, this water main break easily on some of the side streets. That's the good news here. The Cleveland Water Department Department is on the scene. They say only about 13 uh, homes are affected. They do not have water this morning because of this. But a big part of this story are the people working outside on this leak here. I mean, when you factor in the wind chill, we are in the single digits. It is just brutal to be out here. Anything that you have exposed on your body uh, will just absolutely, uh, if, if, when it's exposed, it's just uh, very uncomfortable when you're out here and it is freezing. You have to be careful. But I asked them what they do to stay warm. They didn't want to be on camera. They said they couldn't, but uh, they said, look, we uh, were prepared. I mean, that's the big thing. We are prepared. We have plenty of layers and we know what we're getting into each day with the possibility of being outside. Kind of like myself as a reporter. The cold weather is here. I had to wear layers. We were just talking uh, the photojournalist that I'm working with this morning. Uh, we had a couple different we have a couple different pairs of socks on. You have to layer up because it is so cold. So when you go out today, whether it be the bus stop, maybe you're walking to work, definitely bundle up out there this morning because temperatures like this and these guys know it are just brutal back into you and traffic reporter Jackie Zabelski is tracking any impact those closures are having on your morning commute Jackie what are we looking at well at any time we have road closures you start to see some trouble even if it is just on local roads which is what happened here with the water main break so center road remains shut down in both directions in between Pearl Road and substation road so anyone traveling locally through this area is going to be affected and as Josh mentioned once this reopens we'll have to be careful of any ice uh, that has been created on the roads because of that water main break so certainly better that this remains closed for now, especially in those cold temperatures. We're also looking at an accident over in Berea, and this one causing a closure as well on North Rocky River Drive in between Grayton Road and Depot Street, and that too affecting local traffic throughout this area. Now, the good news is major highways are moving along pretty well. 77 here at Pershing Avenue looks just fine. Back to you. You can also find more traffic information on my Twitter and Facebook page. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackie Traffic. All right, Jackie, thank you so much. Breaking overnight, tax rates are going to rise for most of us. Even though he is on vacation in Hawaii, President Obama signed that bill to avert the fiscal cliff. The president used what's called an auto pin, a device which copies his signature. Now, that bill raises taxes on individuals making $400,000. Plus, lawmakers agreed to not make a Social Security tax cut part of the negotiation. So, that means a tax cut will expire, taking our rates back to 2010 levels. Also overnight, President Obama signed a $633 billion defense bill tightening penalties on Iran and boosting security at diplomatic missions.
This morning we we're following two separate missing persons cases. Both a boy and a girl are missing. News Channel 5 assignment editor Cedra Mayfield has been making some calls overnight. Is Cedra any sign of the children? Well, Macy, police are searching for a 13 year old boy from Huron County and a 12 year old girl from Cuyahoga County. Take a look at your screen. On the left, you're going to see a 13 year old boy. He's David Scott of Wakeman, Ohio. He was last seen around 5 o'clock last night at his mother's home. Now, Scott is 5 foot 10, weighs 140 pounds and has blonde hair and blue eyes. He was last seen wearing jeans, a camouflage coat, gloves, hat and tan colored work boots. If you've seen him or know where he is, call the Wakeman police right away. Now in Cuyahoga County, police are searching for the girl to the right of your screen. She's 12 year old Raina Bennett. Family members say Bennett was seen or has been missing rather since December 30th. She was last seen at her home on Tate Avenue and is believed to be in the company of a man, possibly in the Cleveland or Lakewood areas. Now, if you know where Raina Bennett is, call Cleveland police immediately. Macy, I'll continue checking in with detectives on both of these cases. All right, Sandra. Thanks, Mike. Macy, thanks. 537 right now. Back to school, and it's for students in Newtown, Connecticut. What they're going to face as they try to recover from the shooting tragedy there. And democracy in action. A new Congress is going to be sworn in today. This is a lot.